Howdy, we're the Porters. I'm John. And I'm Tracy. Wow, that was on cue. Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> perfect. Today we're making the easiest, most deli delicious thing that you can make that is also has the highest impact of, of wowness that you can bring to like a cocktail party or serve at your own home or give it to your kids. It, it's just like, wow, it's, this is so amazing. It's crazy, soon worthy. I mean, our, our kids, this is one of their absolute favorite things. And maybe you've made these before, smashed potatoes. Smashed potatoes. But we kind of add our layers onto them and make them really different. We do these for Christmas Eve. We do this big sort of Christmas Eve um, party and we do these with um, creme fraiche and caviar and so you can really sort of dress them up like that or dress them down yeah I mean kind of like what we're doing today right right and so we just you know we just use um, you can use any kind of small potato we prefer any little potato you can do fingerlings you could just do you know we buy a, a one pound bag of these we typically are doing two bags, I will tell you, because we have 14 age boys, and they can clear two trays of these in a second. I was saying, John, um, the other day we took these to a party, and I was saying how um, good they would be with a chunk of lobster on top. Ooh, like, a chunk of lobster. Like an aioli and a chunk so of lobster. So they're smashed potatoes. They're potatoes that you boil up, get them soft, smash them, then crisp them up in the oven with some olive oil and salt, and then you put whatever you want on top of them to dress them up or dress them down. They're just the best, best, best. So today we're gonna do them with bacon, bacon. and some blue cheese dressing and um, a little bit of red, uh, red onion. Um, I was going to actually add avocado to be really honest, <laughs> um, but one of our kids- I bought it. But one of our kids ate it, so you know. It was here. That's just how- It was here That's just how an it hour goes. ago. Yeah, yeah, it was here and I'm like, where, where did the avocado go? And so. one of our boys is like, oh, I made avocado toast. You should have put your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> How things go in a house where dog eat dog, boy eats boy. Oh, I know. So know. John usually makes these more than I do. Um, it's the smashing part. I like that. Yeah, he uh, kind of, yeah, exactly. Take out my aggression. Kind of Neanderthal smashing. I like use a paper plate to smash them. And he's like, uh, it's not hard. Yeah, yeah. So first we put the bacon into a cold oven. If you don't do your bacon like this, you're missing out. It's the easiest thing. Parchment paper, bacon, pan to catch the, you know, make sure it's catching grease because this does yeah. don't produce the grease. So and a cold oven and then, you know, you put your oven on. We like to do our oven at 425. We tend to like our bacon just a little bit crispier. Usually do like what, 20, 25 minutes? 22 minutes, but it depends on your oven. Okay, yeah, so, um, and you just, um, you know, you just kind of have to eyeball it and see if you like it a little bit more brown or not. You know, we, tend, we tend to kind of go um, on the brown side and then, the potatoes, to start those, we just put them in a large pot, um, cover it with um, water just a few inches above the potatoes, throw a little salt in, and you want those to go until you can pierce them easily. So depending on the size of the potatoes you buy, like the kind of little, if like all your potatoes are tiny, tiny like this, it's probably gonna be about 15 minutes. We tend to go 15 to 20 minutes, we just kind of test it as we go. So this is, you know, one of those things. But again, this is a really great recipe if you want to experiment a little bit. So we'll just kind of get everything going. Okay. Next, we put the potatoes in the water. Tracy was just saying how she likes to put the potatoes in the pan first and then, and then fill it with water. And I'm like, I like to put the water in first and then put the <laughs> potatoes in. So let's watch me do it my way. <laughs> I have my way. Right, so it goes yeah. down in there. Yeah. We want to make sure we got two inches over the water. I guess pretty well, but not quite well yeah. enough. Yeah, see I do it totally the opposite way. I put my potatoes in the pan and then I fill it with water. And then just throw a um, big fat pinch of salt in there because um, it's always a nice thing to cook. Do you like that guy? Do like John, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Toppings, different ideas. I, really, it's endless, I mean, Tomato, okay. tomato, potato, potato. Right. I mean, I would. So I would. Um, I would absolutely do a smoked oyster. Ooh. Does that sound good? With I don't know. Cilantro and. Some little like salsa. Ooh, like a and, and like a mango salsa or something like that. That would be interesting. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Okay, what would be your fantasy? Um, fantasy. Well, okay, that's well, different. It's but uh, <laughs> but uh, like a little slice of uh, Korean beef <gasps> with uh, again a big slice of red onion, 
and maybe a little bit of, I don't know, some apple or grape or something a little sweet on top of it. Yeah, yeah. what did you say the other night too? You had another really good idea. You said pork belly. Oh, pork belly, yeah. Instead of bacon. So good, oh my God. That's I mean, the only thing better than bacon is more bacon, uh, but pork belly is a <laughs> Good second, so. Pork belly is really good. So with pork belly, you could also do like some interesting little um, wonderful schnibel of like, um, I don't know, I, I kind of see like a fruit or something like that. Yeah. Like, oh my God, what if Apricot you did? Apricot or something. Oh, I was going to say like a peach, yeah, peach like a grilled, peach, like a yeah. kind of grilled peach or something would be really good. But then you go the seafood route, you got the caviar, you can do uh -huh. shrimp, uh, right. you can do lobster, anything that's kind of got a, a chunk of something on there. You can turn these into anything or you want. Or do all vegetarian, no bacon, right. no meat. I, right. I don't understand that, but, but uh, that's just not your kidding. language. Not my language. <laughs> and not my boy's language. We did, uh, what did we do the other day? Tri-tip. We did tri-tip with, with avocado, avocado, like a guacamole. And blue cheese. And blue cheese and, and red a little, little red onion. You know, scallions are just also a great a, a red option. red onion with the potato. It's so it's good. It's just so perfect. And then yeah, you can so do creme fraiche or, or, uh -huh. or sour cream or yogurt or something. And fresh herbs are great on these, like a little cilantro or some, if you did something that you could add a little basil to. I mean, truly, you could brainstorm a thousand different things. But what goes best with them every single time is a cocktail. <laughs> That's yeah, we're normally out. having a cocktail while we're cooking. Well, I guess I should get busy. <laughs> <laughs> we're not day drinkers, but what time is it? It's oh, almost five. It's almost five. Somewhere in the world. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll do that. So usually around this time, I will still be working. Um, and This I'll time hear... being five o'clock, six o'clock? Well, six yeah, o six o'clock yeah. usually, yeah. It's a little earlier than that right now. But And John, I'll hear John... I was, you know, John walking down the hallway with a shaker. I'm like, oh, look at the clock. I'm like, oh, wonderful. John's coming with a cocktail. That's a really good time of the day as far as I'm concerned. Pavlovian. Yeah, so we decided this wasn't even planned as part of this. We just decided as we were, you know, kind of di di what's the word I'm looking for? Diverting? Diverging? What's the word I'm looking for? Going off the path. Um... Going off the path. As we were going off the path. <laughs> I can't think of the word. So we were going off the path. Um, John goes, oh, it actually is. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. I can make it up. Five o'clock somewhere. God forbid we drink before five o'clock. <laughs> so Tracy uh, likes her gin. And so we've got a little gin, a little Aperol, which is a sweet bitters. And then we've got grapefruit bitters. Yeah. Um, I and always like bitter, a bitterness in my cocktails. I think it's really interesting. And, and grapefruit, which is a great great grapefruit and our son Max brought home a bunch of Meyer lemons the other day and they are like so it's like it's like a bubble bath on crack or something oh, it's just such a luxury so to have Meyer lemons and we don't even we don't throw the skins away we can literally like when Max came home with them we cut them open and we were just eating them like apples you know the skin and all they're so wonderful if you live someplace um, that you cannot get Meyer lemons um, I will tell you the trees the little miniature Meyer lemon trees grow very well um, indoors. So, you know, if you're that inspired. <laughs> and just adding a little bit of raw honey, which is fun. Uh, yeah. And she said, I'll take it up, which is the martini glass. Oh, this raw honey and is so good too. forgive the, the shaking noise, but if your mouth waters too, then we've trained you well too. <laughs> Now we have to include a recipe for this. Oh, it's, with... it's gin, Aperol, grapefruit bitters, okay. um, honey, and mm -hmm. grapefruit, we'll and Meyer can... lemon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and look. I wrote up the smash potato I'm not a recipe. bartender, but it's But you play one on TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me taste. You're not going to like it. Cheers. Smashed Salud. potatoes and cocktails. Smashed porters and yeah. potatoes. Mm. <laughs> mm. Good? Yeah. I could use a hair more sweet. I, I know that the honey doesn't just dis disperse mm -hmm. very well in the ice, so but it is we'll really fix good. it. That's really, really good. All right. That's a great combination. You can do it with vodka too, of course. Yeah. You know, very easily. So our potatoes are still going. Our bacon is still going. So John and I are just hanging in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna make my cocktail next. Um, I just made a simple syrup because I needed some sugar stuff because I'm going to make my drink. 
Because and... why let your wife drink alone? And right. really, truly, when we cook dinner, we usually are having a cocktail. But like I said, we don't usually eat dinner until eight or so. Our kids so would love us. The steaming eat. pot of, of sugar deliciousness is, is a simple syrup, which is water, equal parts water and sugar. And then I put rose petals mm -hmm. and hibiscus. Uh, pet, uh, leaves in there gives it a little pinkish hue. John has pillowcases of rose petals. No, I don't, but I do have <laughs> test tubes full of stuff. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> to throw it um, over our bed. Yes. <laughs> had a gift of those, okay. um, and that kind of goes in last. But I wanted to use these Meyer lemons that uh, Max brought home because they're so delicious. So we're just gonna put a little whoa that in there, whoa. and uh, <laughs> put a little lime because. I'm making a margarita, so it should be And we have always lime. love fresh fruit in our cocktails. Fresh whatever, watermelon, fresh, you know, passion fruit, fresh limes, fresh Meyer lemons, like fresh anything agave fresh tequila. is Fresh tequila, absolutely. <laughs> and then I put a little Grand Marnier in there, which is another sweet side. And um, I will tell you before, when you saw that, I was like, oh, I want my cocktail a little sweeter. Then I grabbed the Grand Marnier and just gave like a little tiny topper because it's, it actually is the perfect sweetener. And then uh, a friend also oh, gave me good. this. It's an Alicia MP Roux from France. She brought it, Angela brought it from France and gave it to me. And I say, moi, thank you, my love. <laughs> Je t'adore. Je t'adore. Um, and it's got almost like an anise. Uh, it's very anise. Yeah, it's, it's strong. It's like the prettiest bottle. It came in the most beautiful packaging, but I just have to smell it. Yeah, it's like really um, super anise Oh, forgot the... It smells really good. Forgot the... Uh, Herbally, very herbal. Forgot the simple syrup. Oh, good. Not too much. I don't Secret, like it too sweet. Secret sauce. But I also don't want rose petals in my... Uh, just getting caught in it too. Yeah, that's not good. It's really not. So, I'm, I, I sometimes like salt on the rim for a margarita, but not today. I always like salt on the rim for the margarita. Like I can't, I don't like a margarita at all without salt. I love that combination. Oh, what again. Ta-da! Wow, cases. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, give me another. Mm. Oh, is that good? I bet it is. Mm. Mm. Still Just waiting for the potatoes and bacon. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of getting us real time right well, now. Bacon's close. Oh. Bacon's getting close. There we go. Um, tasters. So I'm not going to give you the recipe in writing, but it's uh, tequila, Grand Marnier, uh, Meyer lemon, lime, I just simple syrup. Down. Add cocktail recipes. Add, uh, yeah, I guess we're <laughs> going to do that. So <laughs> On one of them, maybe. Yeah. You I, get to pick. I can, we can do both. It's not that hard. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, right. see you in a second with some uh, toppings. I think that's what's going to go next. Toppings. Is some the bacon really exciting part. And, yeah. Toppings. Or we, and we have to smash the potatoes. Yeah, the style style. Must wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to check the uh, potatoes to see if they are truly pierceable. Mm, it's hot. They're not quite ready yet. Oh, they're not? Not quite. You, oh, you see, said thought, they were. But I thought they were. No, they're not. Oh. Sorry. Okay, sorry, potatoes. Now, oh, bye. normally, normally you, you wouldn't uh, grab a <laughs> potato like, wow. right out of the boiling water. Talk about but I, I kind of, yeah, I kind of got those hands <laughs> from cooking a lot just for a second or How two. That is insane. But um, don't do this at home. They're not even close. Just <laughs> saying. They are they're so They're not even close. close. I know you're like, oh, they're they're done. I'm like, no, they're not even close. But okay, uh, we t we we tested them. Okay. This is what you got to do. We're gonna go back Pierce to Pierce it, and it, it's got to go in super easy. But you don't want them all falling apart. No, you don't want much. So it's in between there. Yeah. Okay. Coming just, up. Yeah. All right. Just tested the potatoes. They are not done yet. Sorry. We're just going to keep moving forward. Apparently, I'm a potato pusher. A pit, a early Say potato. that five times fast. <laughs> so we've gotten the grease off of the bacon, and now we're just going to use the mezzaluna, which is Italiano for half moon. Yeah. And why does your French grandmother call this a mezz? Is there a French term for it? Like demi luna? Demi luna? I'm sure demi luna? Is, but. I'm sure is. I don't but know. We just want to make this into pieces that are sprinkleable. Yeah, crumbleable and sprinkleable. Yeah, and nibbleable. Hey, no. 
No, no this eating. Is hard, this is the most challenging part of us cooking dinner is when we include bacon. All four of our boys walk by and nibble away at it. That's why we have to do a whole package every time. Because to get a half package. To get, like, literally, <laughs> to get us to a half package. I just want a little bit. I just want a little taste. I just want a tiny taste bomb. And then I'm always doing things like, oh, they're all around me. And I make them these little special things like, I'll take one little piece of steak and I'll put some bacon on a little dollop or something. I'll walk it over to one of the kids and then I'll take one to another one. But, yeah. and, and I don't like making these like so teeny tiny like crumb no. bacon crumbles. No. I like having like little pieces that are like half inch by half inch that you just yeah, like place like on there. Real. And, yeah, so you can get a nice wedge of bacon on your on your potato. Yeah, yeah. That's another idea actually to do like a um, Ooh, the wedge. The wedge, like a mini wedge on a potato. But I will say this. To that point, um, um, these potatoes, you can also um, serve them on top of a salad. Like, that's a great dinner. I mean, we do them mostly as an appetizer or as a side. Yeah. But if it's just the two of us and we're doing these, we'll tend to do more like, you know, the wedge salad is like our, one of our medley. favorites. Yeah, wedge, yeah, wedge salad is crazy. So a wedge salad, if you don't know, it's a big wedge of iceberg mm -hmm. and then blue cheese, Black pepper, onion. Mm -hmm. You can do blue cheese crumbles, crumbles, sometimes a little bit of chopped tomato. You know, it's a very steakhouse kind of a thing. When we were growing up, my mom and dad were super into making wedge. Um, and to me, it's still like. Oh, yeah. And kind of in the Midwest, it's like supper club, you know? <laughs> no, not you growing up. I was, gonna, I was going on the direction of the supper club in the Midwest. You know, <gasps> supper club, you get the wedge salad and maybe some perch. You know what? I don't think our Midwestern friends are going to appreciate that. I'm the Midwest. I'm, I'm Midwestern. Midwest. I'm from Chicago. I'm, Midwest. I'm from Chicago. We're both Midwestern, so I can do that. I'm from Chicago. I can imitate Chicago. You Chicago. Okay, okay. We'll now, yeah. part yeah. two. We're still waiting for yeah. the potatoes. Still drinking cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're here with us. You are here with us, actually, aren't you? Look, it's a child sighting. <laughs> potatoes are done. Ah. Good lord, it took so much longer. <sighs> so simple, and they're hot, so you can smash them or you can wait till they're cool, but... I I'm, always wait, I'm just using the voice of reason here. But look at that. Because just, John is slightly Neanderthal with his hands and I am not. You can use a paper plate, that's what I suggest. Or you can use a I, towel. I like using a towel because you can still get the, the feel of, of what you're doing. About a half inch thick? Yeah, a little less. Okay. Or more, more or less. Yeah, uh huh. But you're just smashing them down, right. fill, filling in the space. Right. Beautiful colors and. All right, the potatoes are done. They're soft. We've smashed them. Now we gotta put a little olive oil on them and salt and put them back in the oven to crisp them up. I personally like them really crispy, and I kind of go just this total hands-on way of putting on the olive oil. <laughs> I pour a little bit into my hand and uh, just get rub them right down. In there. The other day, I was making these, and John was like, "What are you doing? Drizzling oil? That is just so not how to do this." And he grabs you. <laughs> He grabs the olive oil out and of my hands. These are really hot, so this yeah. is not something to do while they're really hot. Oh, they look so good, though. And then we're gonna put some salt on them, but uh -huh. first I'm gonna go give my wife a, a great big hug with these. Oh, no, no, get away. <laughs> yeah. Grab the pepper right now, just so mm -hmm. you can see that. All right, now it's time to put these in the oven to get them all brown and crispy. Wait, how long? I, I go at least 40 minutes at 425. Tracy's like, oh, That's we go 400 time. at, okay. at okay. 10 minutes. I'm like, no. I like having the <laughs> edges like bubbling and crispy so that when yeah. they're pop them in your mouth, you got the, the crunch and the soft inside of the John potato. has a different level of crispiness than I do. He always likes his bacon darker, his potatoes crispier. <laughs> It's going in the oven. Uh, yeah, okay, there you go. You know, you can do it whichever way you want. You can go super crispy or lightweight, I guess, like I do. Lightweight, no. <laughs> I think they're ready. 
I think it's time to make. When John magic. says they're ready, they're ready. I I always think they're ready sooner. I that's the big difference between us is I'm always like they're ready, and he's like they're not ready. Now they're, he likes them really crispy. crispy. I told you he we have a different crispiness edgy, level. Like they're kind of yeah, little, they're, little they're crispy. Kind of shiny. And, I know that's the olive oil touch. Yeah, thing. they're so shiny, shiny. And crispy. Yes. Okay. All right. So this is the decorating part. I'll do this part. You do the <laughs> okay. bacon. Okay. And really, it's again whatever it is you want to put on them, it all is going to work. But yeah, we generally do this kind of as a team. Or whoever's around, if we if we have friends over and we're doing this, we're like, get in here. And then start, after, de start decorating the potatoes. The sloppier, the better yeah. because... Boss people around. You want to throw stuff in your mouth, not think about like, oh, am I ruining the presentation? Right, right. Yeah, so you want to look at it and go, yeah, that looks good. Exactly. That just looks exactly. good. Exactly, right. And, and we actually, even on Christmas Eve, like we don't put these on a big fancy silver platter, we pull them out of the oven because we do all these courses. We do escargot and we do cookies en jacques and oh my God, it's like layer after layer of food. And we pull these out of the oven, we put them on the island and people just dive at them right off the parchment paper. Who cares? It's wonderful. It's casual. It's easy. People love that. It's and, like- The presentation's part of it, but yes, it's got to taste good. This is beautiful. Good. I mean, this is, this is so pretty, you know, this way. Yep. Putting raw, uh, the raw uh, red onion yeah. And bacon, and we're competing for space. It's almost like Monopoly. Like, I'm gonna buy it's, this no, real like estate. Twister. Yeah, right hand, <laughs> empty. It's like Twister. And we're gonna I put bacon, right hand red, left foot yellow. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's more like, well, I guess that came out the same time for us. Sort of. I, it came out when it came out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And boom. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. bacon, throw the bacon on. Right, and maybe add a little bit more. Oh, I have like, hair in my face. Thank you. Bacon, bacon in here doesn't work. Uh, and maybe put a little, don't you think a little bit of cracked pepper or on cilantro. the top? Cilantro. Well, we put pepper on it when we put it in the oven. I know. I'm such a pepper. You know, cilantro would be good on this too, or, or uh, some kind of green. Even a little, even a little crumbled blue cheese right now. Yeah. It's endless, really, what but you do to these. We don't Try have it. to put these back in. Oh, so normally I would say put them back in the oven for five to seven minutes. John's like, let's eat them now. But it depends on what you're putting on the top. If you're doing caviar and creme fresh, don't put them back in the oven. If you're doing Parmesan cheese and chives, put them back in the, the oven. Region, the reason I would like okay, I just taking them out crispy, dressing them and eating them is they're crispy. Are they too hot? You put them back in. Right no, they're not. They're good. You put them back in. Oh, we'll go right now. You, yeah, you put them back in. Mm, and mm. they get soft because you got liquid mm -hmm. on top. Mm -hmm. well, they're really good right now. Actually, you wouldn't really have good. to put these back in. So you're gonna kind of have to make the judgment call depending mm. on like what you're chopping. Is those are really good right now. Oh so boy, right, you win. You oh win. boy, time to eat. John wins on the crispiness. Mmm. After okay, really good. Until next time. Now we can plate these. We, we can put them on a nice plate for presentation. Yeah. We don't. If we take them to, to someone's house, we put them on a nice them. tray or something. When we serve them at home, sorry. Right. I know we're eating with our mouth. We really are. We're talking with our mouth full. All right. Until next time. Mm. Cheers. Smash potatoes. Bon appetit.